I can speak loud. Don't get anything here. So I'm trying to understand insurance wise and FDA wise is preceded the seal. It FDA has approved the that. There are two products now. Uh, the first one was approved November of 2022. We're in 2023. Uh, early in 2023, there was another product approved, which is actually oral capsule based, which contains bacterial spores, not the Fuller Consortium. So with, with respect to coverage uh, by insurance, those decisions get made uh, at a different cycles. So we, we are starting to see some patients who have failed commercial products or who are simply said we can't afford them. Uh, and so we're in a position to be able to help them. That's, of course, that's not necessarily the case across the country. So you're to the university. Correct. And then the other question is other conditions that are the other conditions that you're talking about that this That's the only indication where it's been approved. Um, and, and so insurance will obviously deny commercial products for any other indications. And plus, you'll need a lot more of them. So now we're, now we're talking about million dollar kind of a price out of pocket. So, in your mind, when do you feel that FMT will become FDA approved for these other conditions? Is it a or some kind of product, right? Yes. Um, it, it is a long ways out. It took, so it took about a decade for these products to get approved, to go through clinical trials and to get it approved for C. diff. And that's a condition where we know it has 90 plus percent efficacy when done right. So it's not a, in theory, a difficult trial to do. And there are about 100,000 patients per year that fit that indication. Um, so these other trials probably will not have that kind of a effect, so they need to be larger, and there is a lot more work to be done to figure out the dosing uh, and probably donor selection. Um, so probably a, a lot longer 